Welcome everyone to the channel. So today we are, as you can probably already tell, we're going to start building a welding bed. Um, I'll show you real quick uh, the assortment I've laid out, which is nothing yet. Uh, but anyhow, just want to say real quick, um, today is July 3rd, so tomorrow's 4th. Uh, going to take a little time, have some family fun, yada, yada, yada. But just want to say uh, happy Independence Day, everyone. We're going to start building a welding bed for this truck. Um, I might change up a few things suspension wise before uh, it's all said and done but the goal of this bed so obviously you guys know that I have a, a uh, my you know my welding truck right now more or less um, and this has been the plan all along to build a welding bed, welding bed for this truck um, and I've been kind of contempla contemplating the idea of having more of a up front here built like a two foot box they span the top of the, the cab here just kind of big and not big and bulky, but, but kind of big to, to accommodate a lot of tools, you know, to, to keep everything dry. But right now, I just want to get a bed on this thing because uh, I'm traveling a little further to work now. And I'd like to keep the miles off my nice truck. Uh, so that's, i.e., this is where this truck comes involved. But <clears throat> anyhow, so the plan, the plan for this evening is just going to be try to get the framework uh, laid out. Um, get the machine bed more or less tacked in here somewhere, uh, something like that. Figure out where the gooseneck's going to go. Um, you know, the goal is to have it to where uh, somewhere right here over the bags. You know, I, I know them. You know, people are going to say, "Oh, you got it behind the axle," but it's no different than pulling a, you know, a 30-foot bumper pull camper. You know, on my fifth wheel up there. Is, that's what I plan to pull with it. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But at the same time, I like to have it usable, and the goal of this bed is to kind of keep everything, try to keep it as light as I can. Um, just because, for one, I want it to go kind of quick. I would like to, to get this thing to work as soon as I can. Um, but also, I just want it to kind of be kind of be trimmed down. Keep it keep it nice and, and lean, if you will, on the way back. So, if anybody knows anything about Dodge frames, they're like Lincoln Logs. No, they're not. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, the, there are like there's several places in the entire frame that, you know, depending on what size truck it is, they just you know sleeve it into the other tube and weld on X amount or whatever. So that being said, this here little it gives a little lip. Um, you know, there's like a you know eighth inch ish, maybe three sixteenths above here. Um, so what I'm gonna do to start, um, the plan is to have just probably just one oxygen bottle, maybe two. I don't I don't really need two more or less i just i just need to be a carry one oxygen one acetylene will be will be fine for what i do um but anyhow we're gonna put that up front somewhere the machine is gonna sit right around the front of the machine is gonna sit right here i think i might try to move it forward or not i, I don't know yet but the first goal is going to be we're gonna cut a couple pieces here to go from here up here somewhere like I said I haven't decided on all that yet and then I'm gonna come back here and cut a piece that goes from the back of this maybe overhang a little bit um, notch it up to here and just try to get everything mounted get everything down and then over top of that I'm gonna run uh, let's see here yeah I'm gonna run another support to bridge from here to there and then a couple across here to incorporate incorporate this here in the middle so it's it's a lot different than building a flatbed because you know a lot of this is just going to be sheet metal. So the framework is basically, you know, all your framework is within mostly within the uh, the in, the uh, frame rails. Um, up here, I'll come out just a little bit to kind of just get past this, and then I'll hang sheet metal off it. Um, but I know I'm talking a lot, but there's there's a lot of information here because it is a lot different. Um, I'm going to be kind of trying to go quick with it meaning I will try to get a lot of work done try not to pick up the camera so much because I like to have this functional uh, you know once uh, Monday comes around so like I said today's July 3rd I'd like to have it you know the Monday following whatever that is so there's a lot of work gonna get done I'm gonna try to move move quickly and then you know probably at the end of the uh, you know somewhere in between where I feel it's necessary to point out you know point something out I'll pick up the camera and tell you guys but Right now, I just want to try to get get a lot done. Get uh, phones ringing. Oh, hey YouTube, subscribe. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. All right, we'll see you. All right.
So as I was sitting there talking to Ethan, um, I think I'm just going to go with one bottle. That way I get the machine um, kind of far far up here. That way I'm not interfering. I don't have to I don't have to get it up high to clear the wheels. So that being said, um, the first piece I'm going to cut is going to come to. It's going to go from here over to somewhere here. You know, leave enough room for one bottle here. Um, I might I might make it a little bit uh, make a little a little wider that way I can I could probably throw my umbrella between my machine and something else so I'll put the bottle at the very front leave like a you know a six inch gap or so between machine and there that way if I need to work on it as well I can get in there throw my umbrella beside it uh, you know your your uh, ground rod yada 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 so <clears throat> anyhow I'm gonna come you know a little bit up here first piece to go here to here um, bolted there uh, then I'll jump back here, cut a piece from here to out here a little bit, notch out for this, um, get a couple, you know, get a mountain point. I already had, this is where I had a mountain before, so I'll probably just go back into these holes, uh, if I can. So get a mountain place here and probably up here in front of the bags. That way the gooseneck, um, is bolted back front and back and ain't going to go anywhere. And then, um, like I said, I was going to, then I'll bridge this gap just so I don't have to worry about accounting for this then I'll bridge the gap across there pull in some braces figure out the gooseneck so first things first um, we'll do a couple quick measurements make some cuts and get this kind of figured out like I said I'm gonna put a uh, gonna bolt one right here and just weld a piece of flat bar off the back side of this um, we get some I got some two by two uh, is what I'm gonna use two by two three sixteenths wall square tube I'm gonna use for this most of this I got some two by three over there as well um, Mount here, mount there. We'll put a brace across the, the front of this or something, and then we'll figure out um, where this is. But anyhow, so the, once I once I get this done, the machine frame, I'm gonna build a frame out of uh, angle iron. It's gonna sit right on top of this. So the machine will, will actually be sitting more or less right here on on uh, you know this, this high off the frame, two inches off this part of the frame. And uh, yeah, all right, so. Let's enough talking. Let's get to work. And like I said, I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to get a lot accomplished. So I'm gonna set the camera down, just put the tripod, and uh, let's get to work. Just a little quick kind of tidbit, if you will. So this is where my machine is going to go. Like I said before, um, I'm going to run one bottle and then just have a little gap here for uh, my uh, umbrella to slide into. Just, you know, a little knick-knack stuff. But what I was going to mention here is that <clears throat> um, I always favor my machine to that side just a little bit. 
That way I can have the most amount of uh, storage space here for my leads to go into. So therefore, um, you, you can kind of see, you know, I'm about, I think I'm about an inch and a half off that, uh, that bracket there. That way, <clears throat> um, you know, obviously it doesn't interfere with that, but what I'll do from here is I'll drop a, drop a plate straight off, straight off the side of this and then, you know, build my, build my lead well here where all my leads will roll up into, and then I can come back and, uh, you know, I'll put a, the top plate on, step it off the side a little bit, cut some circles in or whatever, but uh, that's just an easy, you know, not easy, but that's how I kind of kind of do it. But this is this here is fit for Lincoln only. Lincoln, that's what my uh, SAE 300 is. Um, this is the footprint of it, basically, or any 200 for that matter, you know, old SAE 200. But here, I'm gonna bridge the gap just like this right here with these two, um, and then right here. I'm going to come off with, I'll, I'll put a cross um, that'll run this way right here. It'll come out here, that way we're going to clear the, the wheels right here. Uh, come out not, not very far, that way we can just drop straight down with a plate. And, you know, we got to figure out our, our bolts and our crap here first. But, <clears throat> um, anyhow, that's just so we can come off here a little bit to clear uh, our mounting bolts, and yada yada yada, before we do anything major here. <clears throat> so... Um, like this is already tacked, uh, this is tacked down, so the next thing to do is just figure out where, how many places I'm going to mount it. I'm probably going to put, um, I don't know if I'll go back here, not sure yet, but anyway, pro probably right here we'll put a mount, and then right here we'll come off the inside of right here and put another mount right there. I have to move those airlines a little bit. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Keep plugging away here. It's just so stinking humid out. I don't know if you you can. I mean, I'm just like dripping in sweat. Uh, all the sweat gobbed on there. Um, so this is what I got so far. Um, I have yet to decide where I'm going to bolt it down back here yet. Um, and I chose to kind of stay the inside of the frame because of up here. Um, it was just easier to more or less bolt bolt it here than anywhere else. So anyhow, I chose to stick the inside of the frame, which is no big deal, but uh, it's just a little harder to get to the inside of things and stuff like that. But I'm thinking that I might um, actually just have one bolt go down through here, down down through the whole thing, and then put like maybe. <clears throat> Put, a, put one across the back here, like so. Um, put a couple through here. Put one down all the way through it, and then maybe another little one um, up here. And then, I mean, this thing ain't going anywhere. So I've just been kind of doing that. Um, also, just been kind of figuring. So, so this is where I'm gonna drop, come off the side of the truck is where I'm gonna drop my plate down. So honestly, this this box is gonna be like uh, 20 inches wide. I mean, it's going to be a really wide box and be able to fit belt machines down in it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, basically, a lot of stuff will be able to go in there. Um, and the idea with this gooseneck ball here is to pull my camper. Um, I'm going to get I'm going to get the B and W one that actually goes down in, inside of like where this uh, ball is. Still pull the camper here, 
uh, put, I'm gonna put one more brace up front there. That way, that that thing has like a 20 by 20 footprint, uh, 20 inch by 20 inch, roughly, uh, the hitch I want to get. So anyway, that'll that'll more or less sit here, at a support up here. That way, it won't rock forward. Yada yada yada. Um, but you know, I'm not so much worried about you know takeoff power as as I am stopping power. So obviously, ideally, you want to bolt more behind the hitch than you would in front of it you know to, to help with that 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 lifting force whenever whenever you try to stop so that's the going way um kind of late i am soaked in sweat you kind of tell my pants i mean it's, i'm not even really doing hardly anything i'm just kind of walking around it's just super humid so anyway i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut a couple more supports um and i've kind of decided maybe that uh, I can actually keep this pretty low and I could probably get my bottles to, to stay below here uh, uh, you know more or less one stack on top of each other I could probably get it stay below the window um, which would be kind of cool so I might end up putting a double auction rack here uh, maybe not like I said not sure yet but um, nonetheless I do I'm only I mean I'm not gonna lay them down because I do like having the idea of having a little bit of room between here and um you know the bottles to to throw things and kind of like a little catch-all if you will but anyhow uh like i said i'm gonna cut a couple more pieces um and then just kind of might be might be it for tonight not sure yet but we'll see what happens here Right, guys so not as much as I would have liked to got done tonight but um, has the family come over anyway I want to wrap it up tonight I'm gonna go take a dip in the pool cool off get some uh, get some water get some rest be back at it in the morning like I said tomorrow's July 4th so I have off from uh, from work so I'm gonna be working on this thing somewhat tomorrow but uh, this last thing I did here I didn't bolt this back end down yet, but the last thing I did was I put this, uh, I cut it out with a plaza cutter and put a piece of, I think it's three quarter uh, black iron pipe in there. And to those who know, like <clears throat> when I had the bed on there before, you can kind of see, um, I just used, before I just used uh, lock nuts on the back side when I bolted it down, you know, that way you don't want to crush. You don't want to crush this tubing otherwise it takes the strength out of it so anyhow i just put that piece in there and then for the sake of i'm going to have plate coming down here um i just figured just weld the nut there that way you can just you know from this side up underneath you can just thread the uh the strap is going to come off right here go through here um but this this is really the only one i'm probably i might i might do this one here as well like this but maybe maybe not so thanks for watching everyone um i will i forgot to add at the beginning of this video um i'm contemplating on selling this truck uh you know maybe more or less any time throughout the build if you guys see or if you guys want you know the piece of it whatever but you know I'm contemplating on selling it. Maybe, maybe not. You know, the, the plan is to, is to use it, but if it sells before then, it sells. So, if you guys are interested, um, I'll put my business email down below. If you, you know, serious, there's keys are everywhere. You know, uh, let me know if you're serious about it. Like I said, it's it's no big deal to me. But if you guys are looking for a decent, you know, a decent used truck that you ain't got to worry about beating up. Yes, it is a two-wheel drive, but. Um, you know, it can be uh, it can be somebody's first work truck. You know, not necessarily pipeline and stuff like that, but uh, you know, anything else. So, that being said, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm getting bit bit up by mosquitoes. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys. See you all on the next one. I'm getting tired. <sighs> thanks, guys.